welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here welcome my name is Sarah and we're back for a long overdue daily vlog it's been a it's been a minute you guys since I filmed last um, so I thought at the beginning of this video I'll give you a quick little update I'm on lunch I'm sitting in the parking lot targets behind me um, I don't know I just I just need to like update you guys on everything so the last vlog that I think you guys saw my necklace is messed up how did this happen there's a huge knot in my necklace I need to fix that um the last vlog that you saw I believe was Easter and then a huge storm came through so we had a tornado so an actual tornado came through Charleston West Virginia it was not fun I actually, if you follow me on Instagram, then you saw it. I actually videoed. I'll like show you guys like a little bit out my window. I got like a, just a glimpse of it. It was crazy. Um, got home, no power. Power came back on. Thank God. The Wi-Fi cord, like our internet cord, ripped off a power line and was laying over my home and in my backyard. I tried to call and call and call because there was an outage some of our neighbors had it and some of our neighbors didn't and I tried to explain to them that I know why there's an outage it's the cable and it's in my backyard they they just couldn't help me I'm just gonna be honest with you me and the Wi-Fi company have went rounds over the past couple of days and I'm not I can't get that other little knot out I'm not a naive person. I understand that these people are working their butts off to like get stuff done. My problem was I need to call and, you know, make an appointment. I understand it's gonna be long. I understand that tornadoes hit. We also, also, we had no cell service, none whatsoever. AT&T completely down. There was nothing. So we're at home. Thank God we had electricity because a lot of our neighbors and friends didn't, but we had no like communication with the outside world. We're calling, we're, we're running through town, trying to, cause there's so many trees and stuff down, checking on the grandparents and stuff. I, di I digress. My issue with the internet people is that when I call and I make an appointment, tell me the right date. Don't give me a soft blow answer because you don't want me to get mad or something. Like I understand it's gonna be a while. If you give, if you tell me like, hey, we, we really can't be there till next week. Listen, it's frustrating, it's irritating, but I get it, okay? So I called internet company and was like, hey, it's down. That's why you have an outage in the area. And they're like, well, we can't schedule services right now because of the storm. And I'm like, I understand that, but you're not gonna fix your outage until you can fix this cable. So they sent me a text message and said, you know, the internet in your area has been restored. And I'm like, no, it hasn't. So I called them and I'm like, it hasn't. I sent them pictures. They're like, great, we'll be out today. I sent this at like 8 a.m. They're like, great, we'll be out today at like between two and five. Cool, five o'clock shows up, nobody's come out. And I'm like, what's going on? And I told them over the phone that like, we don't have cell service, okay? We don't have, you can't call me when you come out. Like we're home, just come, okay? This is really irritating me that I can't get the snot out. I need tweezers. Five o'clock comes, they don't come out. We call, okay, we go to my neighbor's house who has Wi-Fi um, and we were able to, you know, use like a little app thing and call. So get them on the phone and I'm like, well, my husband called this time and he's like, nobody came out. And they're like, okay, we'll be there. We're so sorry, we'll be there tomorrow at 8 a.m. So not even a time frame. like we'll be there at 8 a.m. Okay. 8 a.m. comes, nobody. 9, 10, <laughs> 11 o'clock comes, no one showed up, no one called, no one did anything. So, husband calls again. Yeah, what's what's going on? Be there around like 2 to 5. That's what they said, again. He's like, fine, okay. 5 o'clock shows up, again, we've waited from 2 to 5. No one has called no one has showed up and my husband's like what what is why are why are you telling me all these times that you clearly don't have a tech available like you're just you're lying to me so now we don't have it we finally spoke to an actual person instead of this AI autobot 
they're supposed to be here on the 11th. However, there's another thunderstorm coming through with tornadoes again, because that's what they said was going to happen. They said it's there's more. So this storm is also supposed to have more tornadoes. <laughs> West Virginia doesn't get tornadoes. Like I remember having like a tornado back when I was like three. I think was the last time anything has ever happened. It's just been crazy. Wars have been crazy. Trying to get any service has been crazy. Finally, cell phone service came back. Um, it's it's just been a moment. Um, this is not working for me, and it's irritating me. So I'm just gonna like, I think I'm just gonna put it in my little. I'm just gonna put it in my little bag, and I will work on this this evening because I can't get that knot out, and I don't want to ruin the necklace. So I'll just stop. Um, I need to clean my car out. I was going to do a lot of stuff. Okay. I woke up this morning and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get stuff done and it's pouring the rain. <laughs> oh, I have all kinds of junk in my car, all kinds that I need to get out over the past couple days though. I did really organize my bedroom and my dresser and my wardrobe. And I kind of have an idea of like some things that I need to buy for like my spring summer capsule wardrobe. Cause you know, you guys know, like that's my thing. I'm drinking a diet Mountain Dew. I went and got Jersey Mike's sandwich for lunch and just sat in the parking lot and ate. Watched Gilmore Girls on my phone. And this is what I got to drink. Needed a little pick me up. So I, I need to get all the trash out of my car, regardless if it's raining. I don't need to like clean it or sweep it or anything. I need to get all the trash out. We're supposed to have lacrosse practice. That's what this big honking stick is in my car because it doesn't actually fit in my car. So that's how we have to put it in here. Need to do all that stuff. I will show you guys my room when I get home. Um, I'm pretty excited. I have a very minimalist room. I can, I can honestly say like my room is minimalist. Um, I do have to get back to work though. Um, head back into the office, get some things done, but I will check in with you guys on my way home because I'm going to stop and there's cars coming. I am going to stop and clean out my car real quick and I might have a Target pickup because there are some shoes that I really want to get from Target. They're like tennis shoes. The last time I looked, they had them and so I would really like to get them. If they have them in stock, I'll pick them up on my way home. Not this weekend, but next weekend, we are going to North Carolina. I would like to get shoes because we're going to have to do a lot of walking. to sweep it out though it's uh getting a little muggy but I'm, I'm probably just gonna schedule it for a detail once we get back from North Carolina the rain is gone for a little bit it still looks really bad out but the rain is temporarily gone and it's like 70 degrees so it's a little hot a little spicy but we're heading to Target. I just got off work and we're gonna go I'm trying to turn my air conditioning on because I'm dying. Oh, okay. But um, we're gonna go to Target and get my pickup. I got some shoes and I also got a new tripod that I think is going to be beneficial for filming with my camera and my iPhone. It's really small so it's gonna be compact and there's like a little handle. It's really cute, I'll show you. Secured the packages. We're home, yay. Um, Mason and Justin just left for lacrosse practice. Oh, and I didn't have to go today. The days that you don't have to do practice as a mom that also works all day are just bliss the home is empty when you come home except for the babies still have the babies but it's just nice so i got this little tripod this is called a a joby handy pod clip so um i really think it's gonna be awesome 
Um, you can like hold it. It has like this little handheld thing. It's like a little pouch. That's what it looks like. Very cute. And I can just, you know, even traveling is going to be easier. She's very tiny. She's very little. She's really super cute. And you just put your phone in here and then like you tighten it down here and that's how that works or you just unscrew this and then put your phone in love 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 i think it's gonna be so cute it's just cheap beep beep Cheers. these are the madison sneakers they look like this they're super cute i really like them because they had a little bit of a texture on the side if you can see that little texture really cute i needed a shoe that i could wear when we go to North Carolina, because we're going there for a car show. It's like a really big car show that they put on in Tennessee, and we're really excited. So there's probably gonna be like a lot of walking. Um, it's just like a little weekend getaway. I've been wanting the Nike Dunks, but I'm really hard on shoes, you guys. Like I'm really, what are y'all doing? Stop attacking the cat. Really hard on shoes. So. They're not listening to me. Gigi, why are you being so ornery? I've been working on my capsule wardrobe. I'm so excited. I'm finally putting it together. I have a few pieces that I bought. I'll show you guys when they come in. So I have the makings of my 2024 capsule wardrobe. I will show you guys a little picture up here instead of trying to show you my phone. I have my bottoms, my dresses, my tops. I only have one swimsuit right now. I have more, but I've put them to the side because I just don't wear them. Like I didn't wear them at all last year. So I think I need to just stick with the one that I actually like and maybe venture out and find a new one. And then I have my sleep. I have two outfits and then just one like big sleep shirt and then I right now I have three pairs of shoes I have my new shoes over here and then I have my flip-flops from Amazon and then my slides that are also from Target I also made like a little template of my seasonal storage so I know these are there if I need them it's kind of self-explanatory it's most of my winter stuff and then most of my like winter shoes or like a formal dress things like that I also put together the vibes for this year these are the vibes for 2024. When I'm filling an outfit, this is like the vibe that I'm going for. The inspo using things I already own. All of this type of idea can be like interchanged with other things that I own. So that's the vibe. Seeing it on paper just really helps me analyze. I'm not overwhelmed. I can pick out outfits easier. I can mix and match easier. Um, you know, sometimes when you're just looking at your clothes, it's like nothing goes together. But when you like put it on paper and you like start putting stuff beside each other, you're like, oh, that's cute. That works. I do want to take you guys and show you my bedroom because I finally have it like organized. I still need to put away my winter stuff, but I have everything hung up except for what's dirty. And I have my dresser. This top drawer is <laughs> ignored. I use these for my hair when they're static in my hair, so I like to have them on deck. But I have my lounge clothes. I go through them so quickly that I don't even fold them. Then we have like underwear and stuff like that. This drawer is going to be for pants, jeans, all of those. Right now this bottom one is kind of a mess because it's a bunch of stuff that I don't know if I want to keep or donate yet. But eventually it's going to have all my winter stuff in here and I'm going to get rid of all of that stuff. Makeup and beauty. This is usually electronics. And then I have my shoes. I clean them and put them up in here. And then the ones that I'm using right now, I keep out over here. Little Stella. So that's what my room is looking like right now. I'm finally getting it organized. Having an organized space has been a necessity for a while. So right now I think I'm going to change into some cozy clothes, make myself a nice ice cold drink, and I'm just gonna sit and relax because your girl didn't have to go to lacrosse practice. I get to enjoy like an hour of just peace and quiet. Mm -hmm.